Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock, and I want to start off with an apology for missing last week's video. I don't think I've ever gotten quite so many complaints about missing out on posting a video on this channel. Sometimes life happens, and the thing that happened for last week was a car accident. My car is in the shop right now. It's going to take a couple weeks to fix it because there's extensive, extensive damage. I was fine, but just dealing with uninsured driver and insurance and all that kind of stuff has just been a challenge to say the least. So sometimes life happens. There's no need to panic or to email in fear that something's happened. If you're wondering why there is not a video on a particular day, because I'm going to give myself more freedom in the future to take take a week off here and there, then please just go to the Facebook group because I'll post there if there's any anything to pray for or any issue going on as to why I haven't posted. Sometimes it's just, you know, no mojo, <laughs> as we've talked about recently. So I am painting a Memorial Day themed sunset. And one of the reasons why I love Memorial Day and do a page for it every single year is the heart that God has given me for our service members and our first responders. When I was running an organization, I ran a nonprofit organization for many years that supported our troops overseas, our service members. And I got to meet a bunch of them and I corresponded with a ton of them and they felt kind of like my kids by the time it was all said and done. I don't have kids, but it felt that way. These were my people and it gave me a whole different view on what serving our nation is all about. And I have transferred that to my local police as well and supporting them, my fire department, EMTs, anybody who serves the community is just really special to me because I, I can see what a difference their sacrifice makes. So I'm painting a sunset and I was trying to see if I could make these clouds look realistic. When clouds are lit from down below and the sun is down on the horizon, the highlights are on the bottom. So it's an odd thing when you're used to putting highlights on the tops of an object to have it on the bottom is a little weird, but it's something to practice if you're trying to create realistic looking clouds. So the clouds that are lower to the horizon, I'm going to add a little more blue into. So the top one has more of a black color, more neutral, and then more blue in these clouds below. A few more sharp edges maybe down there. And they're also going to be more horizontal clouds down in this, this bottom section. I did leave a nice opening for the sky so you could see the sky in between the clouds. I had found a picture actually of a sky like this because I thought it would be really good for doing the journaling in that area and saving a space for it. And I'm using a baby wipe to soften all the edges around each one of the clouds to make them feel all soft and poofy and spread the color out a little bit. On the top ones, I did more of the softening of edges. On the bottom, I just picked a few edges to soften. And then as we get down toward the clouds that are in the really far distance on toward the horizon, they get even more linear as they get stretched out there. And then down in the foreground, I wanted to add darker grasses. So made thicker paint to do that with down in the bottom. And I of course have my paper underneath so I don't dribble down the side of my Bible with my watercolors. So then I got out a pencil. That's just a mechanical pencil that I'm using and drew sort of a diamond shape. I was trying to figure out how to do a flag that was draped downward and hanging at an angle and picturing the fabric going around the curve and where that would take the, the section of stars and where it would take the stripes and how they would lay out. So if you're trying to do a particular one, I would recommend just going to find a picture online that has a flag in the position that you want to paint it because I was making this up and it didn't exactly work the way it probably should have, but it's going to work for a Bible journaling page. So I'm not stressed out about it to do the stripes. Since I'm painting on top of color, that's already there. I am using really thick paint. So very little water and a whole lot of paint on the brush. And if you're 
working with maybe a, a white flag, you know, the whole white flag is white in itself, then you might want to paint around it. So you leave that area open. But since I was planning on drawing the stripes back in with a white pen anyway, that's why I didn't worry about trying to paint around the flag. Because if you try to paint around something, you end up with hard edges around the either side of it. And it breaks the continuity of the clouds or the sunset or whatever behind. So that's why I did it in this order. And then of course, after I got it done was when I did the black outlines, because then that gives me the freedom to move them, change some edges, that sort of thing, if it doesn't look quite right. The stars I'm drawing in here are just blobs. I'm not worried about making literal specific star shapes because they're really tiny on this page. And depending on what your flag looks like, uh, for your country, if you wanted to do a page like this honoring your fallen heroes, then you may want to kind of do some some Google searches on your flag and see how that how that would hang if it were hanging on a a stake in the middle of a field this way or on a on a pole. I'm not sure why I said a stake? Maybe I'm hungry. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is a holiday for me that is not about barbecues at all even though it is for a lot of people because I just have a real passion to pray for and to lift up our heroes, all of those who serve us in any kind of a way in our communities, and that sort of thing. And painting some even darker grasses at the bottom, which makes the sunset look even more stunning. I did decide to go back in and add some lines, some cross hatching over top of part of the flag so that that part got sort of knocked back and there was a section that looked like it was in front. So there is my Bible journaling page for today. I hope you do have a wonderful weekend. Whatever you do, please do pray for those who serve your community. And I'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye bye.